guys, it's Wheezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you today, sis, with another edition of our strong and beautiful sleigh. So as you all know, I've teamed up with 12 of your favorite wig bays who are going to be reviewing wigs with me the whole month of February for Black History Month. Not only are we slaying wigs and makeup, but we're also going to be telling you about an African-American trailblazer while we're slaying. So the wig bay that I'm teaming up with today, you all, if you all don't know this young lady, you need to run and not walk over to her channel and check her out. She is all about all things beauty, all things hair, all things makeup, and just kind of lifestyle in general. I absolutely love her. Honey, when you go over there, you definitely going to be served up a beat face. <laughs> and you're going to get some great tips on how to slay some wigs, okay? The person that I am talking about is my girl, Charisma from Charisma's World. Woo, woo! Yay! So you all make sure you head on over as soon as you're done watching this video. Check out Charisma's slay that she has for you today, as well as hear about the African-American trailblazer that she has to tell you about. Now, I'm going to tell you, when you go over there, sis, don't expect nothing to be sugar-coated. She's going to tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> there will be slayage going on, sis. So make sure you check out Charisma. Tell her Weezy sent you. And you guys, if you're coming from Charisma's channel, hey girl, hey, come on in, make yourself at home. And I hope you enjoy what you see enough to hit that subscribe button and join the Weezette family. And if you are a Weezette, hey sis, hey bro, welcome back. I'm so happy to see y'all. Pray that everybody's blessed. Unit that I'm going to be telling you about today is by Bobby Boss. And it is the unit. I actually just got this unit today. Um, I watched another wig base slay it. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, no, I got to have that. Now, mind you, I'm on a no buy month. And I blew it on day two. But she back on track, okay? I hope she stay on track. But the unit <laughs> is Vanessa. Yes, girl. And it is by Bobby Voss. It is... um. A soft blowout, natural texture, which is what sold me on it because I love natural texture type of wigs. It's supposed to have a five inch deep lace part. It is supposed to be heat safe, but you know, Bobby Boss never tells us to what degrees. Um, and I did actually, you guys get her in two colors, but I don't know if I'm going to review both of them today or not. Um, because your girl feeling a little under the weather, just a little bit. We're gonna, I'm going to get her unboxed and we're going to check her out. I think I'll show you guys for sure the color number one. The other color that I have is the um, FS430. Okay. And also, let me tell you guys. So the person that I'm going to be featuring today, some people call her auntie. Some people call her mother. I just found out from my research, I need to just call her sis because we like the same age. But the person that I'm talking about is Dame Patricia Ann McGrath. Yay! So it's Pat McGrath, you all. And I'm going to tell you during um, my slayage why I'm calling her Dame Patricia Ann McGrath. All right. So let me get this unit unboxed. I'll probably go ahead. I'm going to show you the deeps and then I'll go ahead, cut the lace off and we'll be talking about Dame McGrath while we do this. All right. You ready? Let's go. Okay. Before I say anything, <laughs> was all this necessary? No, no, it wasn't. I just had to say that. Okay, y'all, here's her stock card. This is what it's looking like on the back. There's three different units in the same, um, I guess, line. But it is soft blowout. And my girl, Zarzar Zar Galore, is who I saw slay this. With who's, that's who made me buy it. And you all, I am so glad I did. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. Oh, man, look at that texture. 
Can y'all see that? And it is so soft. I'm in love already. I ain't even got her on my head. <laughs> this is what her lace is looking like. It is tinted lightly brown. It's very soft. Um, I don't know if they claim in transparent lace. Free position wig, which means you should be able to turn it wherever you want. A, a middle or side part. So we'll try that out. Um, but it doesn't say transparent lace. But the lace is very nice. This is what she's looking like on the inside. She does have, hang on, let me flip her. She does have the two combs in the front, uh, the one comb in the back. And she does have, I'm going to close these up, but she does have the adjustable straps as well. Both of mine came undone for some reason, but I'll get those put back together. But oh man, this hair is so soft and pretty. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and get the lace cut off. This finna be <laughs> this finna be such an easy sleigh. This this is finna be a plop and go, you all. Wow. Okay, it is. Oh, it's definitely. Okay, so when they say that it's a free positioning wig, that means that it doesn't have, you know how some wigs have the, the ear tabs? Well, this one doesn't have ear tabs. See that? It's just rounded. So that way you can take it and you can shift it wherever you want and you don't have to worry about ear tabs. So if you want it to be, if you're a team right side part, you can put it on the right side like that. Girl, get your life. This thing, you ain't got to do nothing, girl. Am I going to even get to tell you about Pat McGrath? <laughs> so, now I don't know. I be, I'm feeling a little like, maybe I got it too tight. I feel like it's bunching up right here a little bit. Hang on, let me loosen it up. So, anyway, let me start telling you about Pat McGrath. So, Patricia Ann McGrath is a British makeup artist. She was born, okay, so now I found out conflicting dates with her birth, so I'm not sure which one is true, but one couple places I read, it said 1970, and then a couple other places said June the 11th, 1965, so she was born either 1970 or 1965, I'm not sure which one, but um, Vogue magazine has called her the most influential makeup artist in the world. The whole world, sis. She ain't no joke, let me tell you. Oh my God, <laughs> this is such an easy sleigh. This review is over. Oh, this thing is so pretty. Okay, so yeah, you guys. So in 2013, Queen Elizabeth II named Pat McGrath a member of the Order of the British Empire. And so then in 2021, she was actually made a dame, which a dame um, in, in the British order of things is the same as a... So it's the female version of a knight. So she she doing things big. <laughs> so she was born in Northampton, England, in a working class household by a single mom. Her mom's name was Jean, and her mother was a dressmaker, Jehovah Witness, and a immigrant of Jamaica. So her mother, Jean, became a big influence on Pat's life um, in teaching her about makeup and encouraging her to experiment with makeup, fashion, and just inspired her whole love of all things makeup and fashion. An uh, interesting thing that I found out is that Pat McGrath has had no formal training as a makeup artist. So everything she learned, she learned organically from her mother and through experimentation, she did take, um, she completed an art foundation course, but it never, I didn't find anything about anywhere that she graduated with the degree at all. In 1980, she moved to London and she became involved with designers like uh, Alexander McQueen, John Galliano. Her first breakthrough occurred in the 1990s while she was working alongside Edward 
Innaful. He was a fashion director. Now, guys, get this. He was only 18 years old when she met him. And he was point of, he was made the director um, of fashion for a British youth culture magazine called I and D. And that was like a big upcoming magazine at that time. And he was only 18 years old and was made the fashion director of that magazine. And so then he pulled in Pat. And uh, he went on to become the editor-in-chief of the British Vogue. And so this is a picture of the two of them together. So, yep, they was doing things big. And they are, they both claim, you know, say that they're each other's best friend. And in 1999, she was hired by Giorgio Armani to collaborate on a new range of cosmetics and she became the recipient of the Pantene Pro-V Makeup Artist of the Year in 2000 and in 2001. So things just started blowing up for her, like starting like in 1999. So in 2004, she was hired by Procter & Gamble as a global cosmetic creative design director in a multi-year partnership that was rumored to have paid her one million dollars. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. And again, remember, she had no formal education. So in um, 2015, then she launched her own brand of cosmetics, which is called Pat McGrath Labs. And um, she produced, like when she first dropped her business, she produced 1,000 um, pieces of product. Oh, but when she like opened the doors of her store online and dropped those 1,000 products, she was sold out within six minutes. <laughs> yeah. So in 2019, her business had become a $1 billion company. So she launched it in 2015 Four years later, it was a $1 billion company. She sold stake in her company and has maintained 80 to 85% of the stakehold. And she now has a net worth of $700 million. Y'all, this is going to be a, just a drop and go. I ain't put nothing in this parting space yet. The only thing I will say, I, I just feel like it kind of bunches up right here. I don't like that. Let me see if I put maybe some um, makeup in the parting space. Maybe that'll help it a little bit. Let's try that. That's much better. So the nice thing about this, you all, you can do a deep side part if you want. I am loving the softness of this and the texture. Of this hair. Oh, I mean, this, this is so easy. There's no work to this. <laughs> this probably wasn't the wig to pick to tell y'all about with a trailblazer because <laughs> we're done. So in 2017, <laughs> McGrath was hired by her previous colleague and friend, Edward in Inenful as a beauty editor at large for the British Vogue. In that same year, she went and won the Isabella Blow Award for Fashion Creator at the British Fashion Awards, which showcased British and international individuals and businesses who have made the most outstanding contributions to the fashion industry during the year. It is just, she is her rise is just fascinating to me because it happened like, I mean, it seems quick to us. I know she put in the work, don't get me wrong, but it's just like in, just like in America, there were like hardly any cosmetic companies whatsoever. Like she said, there was none. You couldn't even find cosmetics that would even match, you know, her skin tone or any um, skin tone for dark skinned people. So her and uh, I'm going to tell you more about her mom here in a second, but they kind of like just trailblazed right through this whole thing to be able to create an option for African-American skin. So in 2018, six leading stars wore Pat McGrath Labs makeup to the Fashion Awards. And this is when she became a Dane. In 2021, New Year Honors. So she just became one. She was appointed Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire for her services to the fashion, beauty, 
fashion and beauty industry and for diversity and was the first ever makeup artist to be given this honor in Britain. In Britain. So, sis became like, I mean, she's like royalty in my book. <laughs> But she is known for her unique, adventurous, and innovative makeup techniques, which includes using her hands as opposed to makeup brushes. Now, I'm going to show y'all my most favorite Pat McGrath palette that I have. And I hopped onto the Pat McGrath bandwagon because of charisma. I saw her review some Pat McGrath stuff, and I was like, oh my God, that stuff is beautiful. I need to get some. And it says I went on the website to order some. And it's like one palette. This is high-end makeup. Like this one palette is $130. But when I tell you, yes, it's expensive. But you get what you pay for. And I'm not even kidding. This is my actually my favorite. Now, I've gotten five of these palettes now. But this one, as you can tell, gets a lot of love from me. It is my favorite palette. This is her um, Divine Rose 2 palette. And I actually, I mean, I love this palette. And this is what I literally have on my eyes right now. Everything that I have on is Pat McGrath, except for I have on Juvia's Place um, blush and highlighter but my lip my eyes my makeup my powders everything is pat mcgrath and i love 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 her makeup line like it is phenomenal but um i love this color right here i don't uh i have to dig out what it's called i forgot what it's called but it's like a, a what they call a trial dome color and depending on like how you turn your head, it may look green, it may look pink. You know, it just gives you all these different hues. And I absolutely love it. But when it says she does the technique of using your hands, I know like back in the day we used to use our hands all the time. I used to be in modeling school and they used to always say like your hands are your best makeup brushes. Well, I guess Pat has gone back to the old school method because I'm going to show you guys. Guys, when you take her product and you apply it with your hand, and I'm not a swatcher, but I mean, it. look at that. It is so pigmented. Look. And then if I take a, let me get a clean brush. I mean, don't get me wrong. It still goes on nicely. But see, it doesn't go on as smooth as when you do it. Just take your finger and just slide it on your face. And I love applying her makeup with my fingers. I, it's just so much better. And for somebody that's trifling and don't like the clean makeup brushes, <laughs> it's even better. She has a <laughs> talent for using bold hues and material experimentation ranging from feathers to ornaments to gold leaves. So she uses all types of kind of artsy stuff to create her looks. She and Naomi have been, she's worked with Naomi for years. And um, Naomi has become the face of her brand now with the Mothership palettes. Like back here, this is Naomi Campbell in this box here. And, and these are all Pat McGrath boxes. I mean, everything is just high-end, stunning, and beautiful. And her greatest inspiration was her mother's love for fashion. Now check this out. So her and her mother used to sit around, you know, and they would watch like Hollywood movies and, and you know, movies like that with um, costumes and all of those kinds of things. And her mother was a very good dressmaker, it said. And um, her mother was just like totally obsessed with makeup and costumes and design, that kind of thing. And she said everything that her mother was obsessed with, she became obsessed with it. Um, so her mother would encourage her and would tell her, it will be a problem for you if you don't love what you do, so make sure. <laughs> like, bloop, that's that on that. She and her mother so. used to go makeup shopping when she was only six years old. Uh, her mom, they would watch the old movies and talk about the different costumes and the makeup they saw. And her mother would quiz her about the types of makeup, what eyeshadow shades did she see? Um, what could she have done differently for each look? I mean, 
and that was like at a young age. So you could definitely see how this just kind of became second nature to her to, to become involved in all things makeup and fashion and beauty. She's worked with like... <laughs> You name it, she done worked with them. Anybody huge you can think of, um, Gucci, Ver Versace, like everybody. She's been a part of all of their fashion shows, all of their looks for like years and years and years. So definitely, definitely, definitely Pat McGrath, Dame Pat McGrath is definitely a trailblazer. And I am so happy to be able to feature her because I Truly, truly, truly love her product. You all, I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can turn this thing. I'm going to show you to you on the left side. I'm going to give you a 360 real quick. Now, now I would have to go in and re like do this for the left side. But, ooh, I'm wearing this to work. I'm going to go to work. I'm wearing this. This is cute, cute. Okay, this is the center, and I love the density on this thing. Hold on, let me straighten that part back up for the center, though. I mean, this is glueless, y'all. I ain't glued nothing. I'm just, I'm shook, because it don't get no easier than this. Okay, so, shedding. Yes, I have gotten some shedding. This is how much I've gotten so far. But I haven't gotten any tangling. None. Nada. Now, it does have a thick hairline, so the hairline is not, you know, one of the... I mean, you can pluck it, sis, but as I like to say, you're going to be plucking till Jesus come back. Big head friendly. I would say it's big head associate. I don't know that it's going to be big head friendly. friendly. I don't understand why you Nice, easy. Yes, girl. And look at that texture. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's pretty much all I have. You all make sure you go over. You check out Charisma's World. Check out the sled she has for you. And the African American Trailblazer. Also, guys, just want to let you know, other countries also celebrate Black history. So in case you're wondering, well, she ain't American. Yes, but she's still black history. All right. I love you guys to pieces. Be blessed. And remember, sis, what I always say to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. This is Wheezy, the sexy grandma 2K. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.